Hello everyone. In this video, I want to prove uh, inclusion exclusion formula for n sets. And how I'm going to prove this formula? I'm going to prove this formula by induction. So uh, an induction consists of two steps. So step number one. For step number one, I want to prove the base of my induction. And the base of my induction, I'm saying this formula true for every natural n. So based on my induction, when n, the smallest n, when n equals to 1. And when n equals to 1, on the, on the left-hand side, I will get that uh, a1. And the right-hand right side, since all these terms are, exist only when n is bigger than 1, then I have only one term a1. So my base is true, so I can uh, do step of induction. But let's discuss a little bit this formula. So basically I'm saying, if I have any n sets, finite sets, and I want to find the number of elements of their unit. So what I'm doing, I'm calculating the all numbers of each set. Then I'm subtracting all their double intersection. Then I'm adding all triple intersection. Subtract like fourth intersection and up to uh, when in the end, if n is odd, I'm going to add all the intersection, or if n is even, I'm going to subtract all intersection. Okay, so we prove the base. Uh, I'm going to erase this because I will need space uh, for my step. And let's prove step of induction. Induction step. So, and how are we proving for induction step? Uh, we are assuming that this is formula, it's true for n, for, natu for natural n. And we want to show that uh, it's true for n plus 1. For n plus 1. Okay, so I have this formula for n. I want to prove that this formula holds for n plus 1. And how I'm going to do this? I'm going to write my n factors. I have a1, union a2, union da, 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 union a n, and union a n plus 1. In this formula, I have n plus 1 factors. And how I did in another video, I will take the last, no, 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 I'm not going to take the last, no, it will, yeah, I'm going to take the last two elements, and I'm going to name these two elements as, uh, let's say, A, let's name it just uh, B, not to simplify, and then I'm going to rewrite my formula as A1, union, da, 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 union, A, N minus 1, union, B. And you can see, in this cardinality, I have n sets. So right now, I can apply this formula. And according to this formula, I will get the sum of i from 1 and, let's say, ai. And you can see the maximum index of i is n plus 1. So I'm going to put on my sum, or oh, n minus 1, sorry, n minus 1. But I also have... Uh, when i is equal to n, I have my term plus my term b minus. And for this sum, I will get that you can see we're choosing i2, i1, and i2. And uh, I will have a sum when my i from i1 bigger or equals than 1, less, strictly less than i2. And maximum for my i2 is going to be n minus 1. Why? Because I want to write this formula in terms of a's. So you can see a1, i1 always bounded by i2. So in this formula, I will not have any uh, b, my set b, if i2 is going to be always less or equal than n minus 1. Okay, so in this case, I don't have B, but I have B in this formula, according to this formula. So what I need to do, 
I need to add the case when my i2 is equals to n. So my i1 changes from 1 to n. So let's show i1 changes from 1 to n. And I will have a i1. And since i2 is n, I will have intersection b. Yeah. And uh, my, my board is bounded, so you can do this for any term, and you actually can prove this formula for term when this is first term, this is second term. Uh, you can choose term like, for example, like k, k term, and prove this uh, when uh, for k term. And once you prove this for term k, you're gonna prove for any term. But I'm gonna show you the example for this two and last term. So let's do the last one. In the last one, I will have this formula. So I will have minus one and minus one. A1 union intersection A2 intersection intersection A n minus 1 intersection B. Okay. So what we did for our induction step, we wrote uh, cardinality of n plus 1 sets. We uh, took two last sets and made them as one set B, and then we got the cardinality of n sets. And then we are applying this formula as by induction step, we are assuming this formula true for n. Okay, so let's find what is our b. So, uh, yeah, so in this case b. So first, uh, what is my cardinality of b? My cardinality of b is cardinality of a n union a n plus 1. And we know formula for two sets. I proved this uh, in part one. So it's going to be equal a n plus a n plus one minus a n intersection a n plus one. And Erica, this term, these two terms, we're going to add in first part. We're going to add them over there. And when we're going to add these two terms, we're going to have that our first sum is changing from i equals to 1 to n plus 1. And we have exactly uh, this formula in the case when n, when we're going to change n from n to n plus 1. Okay, and what about this one? And this term will go over here. Yeah, it's all over here. And how is it going to go over here? That, uh, oh, but we didn't finish this term. Okay, so this term is going to be over here. Let's find, uh, yeah, let's find what this, this one is equal to. So this two goes to part one. So let's find this one. This is going to be our sum from i changes to one to n. And then we'll have a i1 uh, intersection b. What is this equals to? This is equals to my sum from i1 from 1 to n. Uh, is this from to n? No, 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 no. There is here is a mistake. It's not to n, it's to n minus 1. And this is n minus 1. Yeah. n minus 1. Why? Because when e1, and here is also a small typo. Because when E1 is going to be equal to N, it's going to be set B. But in our formula, it's always strictly than less. So I will get uh, A I1 intersection A N union A N plus 1. Close. Equal to. Um, what can I erase? Unfortunately, I cannot erase anything. Uh, okay, it's equals to. I'm going to write this here, um, equal to sum i1 equals to 1, n minus 1, and this I'm again going to use distributive law, I will get a i1 intersection a n union a i1 intersection a n plus 1. And again, you can see, you simplify this formula in the case when we have cardinality of union of two sets.
So we can apply this formula that we applied it over here. So what is going to be equal to? Uh, this sum is going to be equal to, I'm going to uh, not write my indexes. So it's going to be sum of uh, a i 1 intersection a n plus plus a i 1 intersection a n plus 1 and minus uh, this intersection this and since a i 1 repeats two times I will have a i 1 intersection a n intersection a n plus 1 and Erica you can see that this terms are going exactly in part 2 not in part 2 in uh, second sum why because second sum is bounded by i when n minus 1 but here uh, and what terms we are missing we're missing terms exactly when i2 is equals to n and we intersect with all previous sets and uh, or when i2 equals to n plus 1 we're also going to intersect with all previous sets but we are missing one we're missing when i2 is equal to n plus 1 and i1 equals to n but this term was exactly over here and this also going to part 2 so you can see when we had uh, our second sum we separate our b and then we expand our b by using formulas that we know before we found that we completed these two sums so when you're gonna find kth sum the right formula for kth sum you will complete uh, the proof for uh, sum uh, k for in this formula and then uh, you can do this uh, practice try to find uh, the cardinality of the last one and then basically you're saying uh, since the, how is the proof is going over here I show you just two examples uh, it's sufficient and necessary just to show that uh, this example in the case when we have some not in three variables but let's say in k variables so we're going to have i1, i2, i3 up to ik and you just need to be really tedious and really specific to write this down explicitly but if you're going to write this down explicitly at least once you're going to see how this formula works and how this proof, proof works this proof is not difficult it's more just tedious and you need to be really picky no really uh, how to say you're really careful and you definitely need to have a bigger board yeah thank you